FGCU ticket office. FGCU's box office is buzzing over basketball. Many people hoping to score a seat to watch another upset from the NCAA tournament's Cinderella squad. It's insane. I mean, I don't think anyone really expected it. At the school's bookstore, students say it was the busiest Saturday they've ever seen. Men's merchandise sales are up 200% from the same time last year. People from across the state are calling in for clothing. Full spear, I think that's a skyrocketed. With their new sports apparel, these guys are driving through the night to Philly for the team's next game. As soon as we won, we decided we are going to go. A school no one outside Southwest Florida really knew about. FGCU is now making national headlines from newspapers to the internet and on TV. I turned on ESPN this morning and they were talking about FGCU all morning. It was a great feeling. When I got to the school, nobody know, knew what FGCU was. Many joke the school started out with more alligators than students just 16 years ago. Like this is Dunkville, the whole game. Friday's game earned the Eagles and Fort Myers a new nickname. Dunk City right now, so I'm excited for that. And these fans want everyone who's curious about FGCU to know this. They kind of look past us. And now uh, people are saying we're the team to beat. On this college campus, the Eagles are making a slam dunk first impression at the Big Dam. Reporting in Dunk City, Lee Dana, NBC2. Kelly, right now on campus, there's an FGCU student producing his second Dunk City music video. Here behind me, about an hour ago, there was about a few dozen students getting involved and in getting in that music video. I spoke to the rapper himself. He tells me it's not. It's not about him, it's about oh FGCU and its new found fame. A video gone viral. It hit YouTube this weekend and captured the national spotlight. FGCU student Malik Adigan made it in five hours after picking up on the hype over FGCU's new nickname, Dunk City. If you if you could do it creatively and in the right time you can get it going. So I kind of I kind of anticipated it really, not gonna lie. So where did the name Dunk City come from? It was slam dunk moments like this that captured the nation's attention during Friday's game against Georgetown. No one really outside Southwest Florida knew where FGCU was located. College basketball talk tweeted this. Apparently, FGCU is located in Dunk City, Florida. About 20 minutes later, FGCU wrote this. When people ask you where FGCU is, just tell them Dunk City, Florida. And it spread across the internet. More than 1,800 people retweeted it. One guy loved the nickname so much, he put it on a t-shirt. Now. He's mass producing them. It's crazy because I mean, literally, it started like yesterday with just a silly idea, put it on the shirt, went out with it, and then when we were out at bars and events last night, people were kind of, let me buy that shirt. He teamed up with TD Event Productions and Gateway, created this new design. They plan to make as many t shirts as they can. Came up with the idea, and we said, why not make a little bit of money off of it? Eagles throwing alleys in the air. And after another win, Adagun is at it again, making another FGCU music sensation. It's just cool because it's not really about me, but about the you know, FGCU and the community and, and uh, basketball team. So. And you can see how excited everyone in that video is. And Malik tells me anyone on campus, any student who wants to be a part of this music video can. They are shooting all across campus tonight. We are live in Dunk City, Florida. Lee Dana, NBC2. Love it, Lee. Thank you. Doors open for the Florida Everblades game at 6.30 tonight. For that game, the attention will be focused on the ice. But following the game, the attention up on these monitors for a free FGCU watch party. Anyone who wants to come and cheer on the Eagles can. You don't even need tickets to the Everblades game. There will be concession stands open. The upstairs restaurant will be open. And I can guarantee you there will be many people waving around their new Dunk City FGCU throw towels. They have been clawing after them all day. Forget March Madness, it's Eagles Madness as the university's basketball team soars into the Sweet 16. Unbelievable. We have not been in here once without a huge line. Isn't that correct? Yes. At the FGCU school bookstore, fans are doing the eagle dance over the newly stocked Dunk City t-shirts. Pretty shocked that the shelves are pretty stocked. Sales have soared this month. 
Women's apparel up nearly 800 percent, men's 1,700. People from across the country scooping up as many shirts as they can carry. Right out of Michigan. These are going back to Michigan. Here at Target, this is the only rack of FGCU shirts they have left. As for the Florida Gator merchandise, the store manager tells me she hasn't seen any customers purchase any of it. We carry FGCU stuff. Um, this is the first year that we've had it in the store, and this has way oversold all of our Florida Gator stuff. Some don't mind the lack of choices left. It's a big thing around here. I'm glad that's all they've got left. <laughs> Over at Dick's Sporting Goods, also in Gulf Coast Town Center, they sold 2,000 pieces of merchandise yesterday and got a fresh shipment in Friday. And at JP Sports, the shipments keep coming in. I can't believe there's still shirts left, but yeah, I think it's awesome. I think everybody's rushing to get what they can, and you know, I think it's great. Southwest Florida getting behind the Cinderella story, <laughs> sweeping the nation. I think it's gotten the whole community um, and maybe the country excited about this game. And if we happen to witness history right here at Germain Arena, I am told JP Sports tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., will have brand new Elite 8 t-shirts on sale. So if you haven't gotten one yet, tomorrow is your chance. We are live at Germain Arena, Lee Dana, NBC2. Lee Dana, she is live at Alico Arena, where eager fans, eager Eagle fans, greeted the boys back to Dunk City. Lee, it was really a great first tournament appearance for this team, and it has certainly been the talk of the town here and really across the nation. Jen, absolutely, and it was right here at Alico Arena where the team got its first start. Now, if you take a look at the campus newspaper, the headline says March sadness, but on this campus today, it was anything but. A welcome home to Dunk City celebration. We're really, really proud of them. More than 200 fans greeted the FGCU men's basketball team back to Alico Arena, where the alley oops all started. I know they're great athletes, and I know they could make it one day to the NBA. Senior and star player Sherwood Brown tells us he was surprised to see the turnout. Because we lost, I didn't really think that we would have uh, the support here. But, you know, it proved me wrong, and I'm glad that they're here. A loss to the Florida Gators in the NCAA Sweet 16, but still a big win for the team. Well, we didn't go into the NCAA tournament trying to be a national story. We went into the NCAA tournament trying to win some games. We thought we were good enough, and it was a very surreal feeling while it was happening. On campus, the energy was just as vibrant as it's been the last week and a half. At the school bookstore, a line formed as early as 10 a.m. I think people are still excited about it because it was a big game. Now the focus is on the future. To see uh, what kind of players uh, Coach Enfield is going to bring, uh, I think it's going to be good because with such a good recognition, and how to maximize the continued success of the team. Whether it's going to be season tickets, single game sales, merchandise, uh, other marketing opportunity. And I talked to a few of the students, the players, I should say, as they were getting off the bus. They tell me it goes back to real life for them like any other college student, and that means sleeping and catching up on their homework. We are live at Alico Arena tonight. Lee Dana, NBC2.